Hey everyone and welcome to another video in which I'm going to show you how to match lights and colors of the different body parts. So in this case we're working on the face and this was the image. As you can see the face was strongly overexposed, um, had some different color as well I could say and after simple adjustments uh, I was able to match the face and rest of the body and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So at the start I'm going to remove this group and of course uh, you can use adjustment layers but I'm going to go with something slightly more difficult but also something that will give you better results. So I'm going to create a stamp on the top I'm going to press Command, Option, Shift, and E on MacBook, and that will be Control, Alt, Shift, and E on Windows. I'm creating this layer because I want to work with the camera filter. So I'm going to rename this into the face, and then I'm going to convert this to the smart object. Converting the layer to the smart object allows you to work non-destructively with the image. So I'm going to hit this, the image is converted and now when I'm going to apply some filter it will not be changing this layer but it will be applied to this layer as the separate filter. So now I'm going to camera and here's the more difficult part because now as we will be adjusting the lights or colors or anything we'll be adjusting this on the whole image and I want to adjust this on, on the face so somehow I have to ignore the bottom part and this is what I called before the difficult part we need to trust ourselves it's giving the better results but also you need to trust the intuition a little bit but if we do some mistakes that's not a problem because we can come back to this layer so First of all, I'm going to lower the highlights. The highlights are too strong over here. I'm going with maybe minus 30. And also I'm going to lower the exposure, which is mainly responsible for this troublesome light over here. And also to not keep this as flat as it is right now, I need to increase the contrast. Maybe to this level, maybe even a little bit more. And then I'm going to hit OK. So the image changed. It looks slightly better, but also we don't want to affect this part. That's why now I'm going to create the mask. And creating a mask allows you to manipulate selectively with certain parts of the image. Whether it's adjustment layer, you will have it already. And if you're working on the layer like this on the smart object, you have to create the layer mask separately. So when the layer mask has color white, the effect will stay visible as it is, but I can invert this. So I'm going to do this by pressing Command or Control and I. I'm inverting this and I'm getting the previous result. So now I'm choosing brush, white color of the brush to do it. We can press D to reset and with X we can switch between the color here. I will use soft edged brush, flow and opacity strong at 100 for this case and I'm just going to paint over. Of course around the face. So I'm trying to be careful to not overdo it, to not go over the edges somewhere I suppose not to but overall should not be too difficult. So just like this. Maybe a little bit of the neck. And I think we got pretty good result. It does look a little bit flat. Some more corrections, of course, we want to make sure it's well covered here. It doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see, but it does look better. So I'm going to back to, to go back to camera simply by clicking on the filter. And I feel this might be a little too flat because of the highlights. So I'm going to lower this and also I want more contrast and some more texture, which I can build with clarity or the texture itself. 
something like this maybe a little bit of clarity okay and now i think it looks more natural and matching better to the rest still maybe just some small touch lower and i believe that would be it so with this very simple step of working with camera adjusting the highlights exposure and some other parts we were able to match the different body parts of course you can do more on the image for example you can see we also darken the lips we want to bring it back let's go back to camera and then we can go to hue saturation luminance adjustments and add a little bit of the luminance around the red color so we'll be able to bring back lights on the certain colors also want to lower the saturation i don't think these lips should be as saturated so i'm over lowering this a little bit and also actually decided to give it a little bit more exposure so then okay and this will be the final results before and after thank you for watching if you want to find some more resources make sure to check the description with the links included and i will speak to you very soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.